So hello everybody. I am Megha. I am final year undergrad student and I am based out of Chandigarh, India. So for the past three months, I have been developing a tool for Wikipedia, uh, which is a user contribution summary tool. So in this five minute window, I'll, I'll be explaining to you the what, why and how of this tool. So this was an experimental tool. And uh, this, there has been no existing code base, no requirements, nothing has been done before than that. It was, uh, it was, it is a new idea and it came out in outreach. -y. And uh, so, so yeah, a good experience for me. And before starting, uh, I, I would like to say that my mentors, uh, Gogo and Stephen, have been super awesome and supportive for these three months. And because of them, this tool has been possible. So, yeah. So now starting with what this tool is about. Um, uh, as I said, this is a tool that contribute uh, that summarizes the contribution of a Wikipedia user. But uh, what's the catch here? That we wanted that it should be understandable by non-Wikipedians as well, so that you can show it to other people who do not belong to the Wikipedian community. And uh, also, it should be automated so that uh, people cannot just go and boast about things they've not actually done. So these have been the two main points about this tool. And uh, now coming to why we actually need it. So as we know that Wikipedia is a large movement, which is uh, actually survived by the efforts of its contributors. So the quality and the quantity solely depends on that. So we, and uh, as we know, uh, in the open source movement and through the incentive theory of motivation, uh, it has been shown that people perform better when they're extrinsically motivated. They have some rewards uh, in front of them to do some task. So we wanted to create such a system uh, through which people can take credit for their work. And um, a prior research project named WikiCredit has been done. And from there, this um, idea was perceived. Right. So we wanted to develop uh, a tool uh, similar to, like, uh, for example, uh, you contribute to Stack Overflow, you get better reputation points. You contribute to CodeChef, you get better ranking. It's a similar kind of system for Wikipedia we wanted to create. Uh, and the future scope of it is uh, creating a CV solely for your Wikipedian contributions. So this tool has now been renamed as WikiCV. So, yeah. And uh, now talking to what will happen once this tool goes live. So since, as I told, it's an experimental tool. Uh, we are done developing it. Some, some portions of it are left, and which I'll be finishing it in a week or so, and then will be introduced to the users. So once it's introduced, so we'll be able to attract new users through it, and the existing people will, uh, existing users will also uh, kind of get benefit out of it, as they can show it to, say, their boss saying, say, uh, see, I've contributed 12 hours on writing this good article, which got cited. So you can take credit for your work. Uh, moving to the next slide, please. So yeah, before telling that how I developed it, these are the screenshots of the tool. Um, I've developed it on ToolForge. And um, so this is how the tool looks like. The upper portion has been cut for privacy uh, reasons. It's some user's profile. So the section you see in the top most, that those are badges. So what I mean by this is it highlights your contribution. So say if you have a special right, like you're an admin, or if you have added uh, cross some X milestone, in adding, uh, say, one MB plus bytes. So that's also shown here. So these are the badges which highlights your achievements. Then it's an introduction. Uh, that's a portion you have to fill in. And uh, next is the Wikimedia summary section, which basically summarizes that how active you have been, how much you've contributed, a quantitative measure of that. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, then this is the achievement section. So in Wikipedia, there's a grading system which grades the articles like uh, grade A, uh, featured article, good article. So these are the topmost three ranks. So we chose them for the achievement section. So it shows that, say, I contributed like more than 50% to an article and it got featured. So I want to take credit for that. So those uh, those achievements are shown in the decreasing or, uh, order of your percentage contribution. Um, yeah, next, please. Yes, and this is the most important part. So um, 
if you've seen x tools you will be familiar with these kind of graph the 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 portion where it differs from them is that um, a normal person who's not introduced to the wikipedia system can also understand it so it kind of it's a visualization of how regular you have been it touches upon different aspects how regular you have been where do you stand amongst different contributors which is not present as of now uh, in the other tools and uh, how how uh, how much diverse your contributions have been so uh, these are the graphs that i've made like the first one you might have seen in the github contributions chart right it's similar for wikipedia the second one is um, distribution of users cons uh, uh this distribution of users considering the number of edits they have made so which bucket do you fall in and uh, in which uh, and how diverse uh, the people are in in which all buckets do they fall so it's a kind of comparison where do you stand and where other people stand and the last one is percentage contribution among different projects so if you want to show that, that in which all wikipedia projects you've contributed so this graph kind of summarizes that So yeah, moving to the next slide. So this these were the screenshots of the tool that I've developed. Now coming to how um, this three month journey has been and uh, why it has been particularly very challenging over the complete three months. So first of all, there were no requirements. Uh, like there was no idea uh, that what we had to develop. So we had to contact users, get everything framed from them. and uh, then convert them into a technical set of requirements which was uh, a new thing for me and uh, yeah a complicated task obviously then after we got the requirements done we moved to the how uh, framing of metrics so basically we wanted to frame metrics which could cover different areas that could signify how the user is and how well he or she is performing and also we wanted that these metrics should not be rigged for example if i were um, if i correct a typo 100 times and delete it again and again that that thing should be incorporated and that should uh, thing should not reflect in your cv so it should not count as 2000 edits rather it should be counted as only one edit so these kind of things were also talked about uh, in the discussions uh, then obviously the design choices because as i told there was no existing code base there so that was also an important phase here and then the last phase uh, implementation coding and the test testing phase so uh, the main uh, catch here was uh, how to improve the performance of such a tool because uh, loading such amount of data from the database and the apis was very slow so how do we cater to that we write cron jobs we write a cache layer and do optimizations so i thought that it will be worth sharing it with you guys that how these three months have been in developing a tool like this So yeah so that is uh, it and thank you so much for hearing me out